Well, this evening we're uh, working on cleaning out a ditch. I've actually been working on this project. This is the fifth trip here, trip number five. So we've been working a long time on it. And we've had video from almost every time. Unfortunately, I lost all that video. Right before we went on vacation, I was cleaning off my computer so we'd make sure we had enough space. And, well, I lost it. I suppose that anybody who's used a computer much has lost data. We had some good stuff too. But I think maybe we'll still get enough here to be able to show you what we're trying to accomplish. So this ditch drains probably 200 acres or more. I looked on the aerial photo to kind of see how much it was draining. So it, it may not look like it's flowing very actively tonight, but it drains a lot of territory. Over the years, the, the silt has settled in here and really filled in this ditch. So it wasn't flowing very good and it had got real wide. So the landowner had us over to basically, you might call it muck out this ditch or clean out this ditch. Now this goes a long ways down through there. I don't know whether you can see it, Christy, if you hold the camera up a little bit more. It goes a long way down in there. And we've worked on all that side, and, what, and now we're working up here. We're getting a large part of this done. Now, when we get all this mucked out, piled up here, we're probably going to come back after this all dries with a tiller or something to try to, to try to knock down these big piles we're making. So we had some good video of Christy chasing a snake, of the landowner Joe catching a fish with his bare hands. Just a bunch of good stuff like that, but no, you're not going to get to see it. Now one thing you are getting to see right now, and I've talked about this before, but this project has really borne it out. Some of the limitations of the little tractor backhoe really show up in this project. It just, it would be really nice if we had a mini excavator or something like that. You could swing 360 degrees. With this little tractor, you can only swing not even 180 degrees, so it makes it really hard for me to get the discard pile far enough away keep from going back in the ditch. So because of that, I've been pulling in at an angle like this, rather than just coming a straight, you know, 180 degrees perpendicular to the ditch, I've been pulling in angling to try to give ourselves a little more swing. So you can see that Tim's already dug out part of this. It was all grown over in weeds when we first got here. So over on this side, Tim's done a lot of the digging out already. It was all closed in before. Tonight, the homeowner is going to spray all this with some sort of weed killer. I don't know if it's Roundup or something else to kind of cut that back. From this side, you can see just how much stuff he's trying to get out of the bottom. It's really gotten filled in over the years. Just wanted to show you that uh, the homeowner, Joe, did call, call before you dig. So these flags here show them where the cable was running. Pretty down close in there, so he didn't dig right at the mouth of this big culvert. One thing I can tell you, a lot of people talk about in the wintertime why they would need a heater in their cab. It gets really hot on here. We're sitting right on top of all these hydraulics and everything. I'm just not really sure you would need much heat even in the wintertime. Are you trying to fish with your bucket? I haven't caught anything, that's for sure. You're glad I haven't caught that snake. Yeah, absolutely. I talked earlier about how the range of motion of the backhoe was the limitation here of this tractor. And it's funny to me how on different projects you encounter different limitations. On some projects, it's just being able to get in there, even with this small of a tractor, is a tight space. So you have a you have a kind of a space issue on this one it's the range of motion and the length of the boom being too short but one thing that i don't have any problem with at this project is the strength of the backhoe and a lot of other projects that's the limiting factor probably the primary limiting factor on most projects but here even with this wider bucket it's no problem at all it just doesn't have any problem with this mud but it would be nice if it would reach a little longer and if I could go, could swing out further. 
If you've got a ditch like this, there's no question that this tractor will get the job done for you. If you're trying to do this commercially, this is probably not the right rig. I love watching the seat turn around. I'm glad you like it. I get tired of it. The new one, you know, doesn't have, it's got two seats. Yeah, I definitely think the uh, second seat could be a benefit. I think there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, the seat mechanism on this one series is notoriously weak. So it's prone to prone to break. In fact, mine's broken again now. Has been for a while. I just didn't even try to fix it this time. And the other reason is just what you saw. I mean, just the pain of having to turn it around every time you want to move. And you have to move pretty often. Now, sometimes you've seen me move by using the backhoe boom and just moving, you know, sliding the tractor forward and things. Well, that doesn't work very well here for a couple of reasons. First, it's too mucky for the backhoe bucket to even hold uh, to be able to push me forward and the second thing is it's not very easy it's not usually straight forward that I want to go I, I'm kind of halfway leaning and in the mud and stuff up here in front so it's a little bit of a challenge but what more could you ask for we put hours and hours on this backhoe in this one creek bed so it's been a lot of fun I find one challenging part to be not being able to see very well I'm sure you can't see very well being right behind me, but I can't see very well either because of these big weeds. And so sometimes I just make a swipe right on out there beyond where I really need to be just so I can knock some weeds down. So here comes the homeowner, Joe, with his uh, zero turn radius mower and his spray rig. Looks like he's got a little North Star sprayer behind him. one of those corn dog plants, Christy. You go first. Uh, uh, I think not. I'll go get you the mustard. I don't know. Mm, I think I'll do without. Yeah, okay. Look at all the water come. Amazing how much grass was growing down in here. Thanks to Kenny for the neon yellow shirt. He's easy to see at dusk. That would be Kenny at boltonhooks.com. Hopefully Tim's in the picture because I can't see what I'm...